Good morning. It's New Year's Day 1982, and this is Television South, TVS, the new independent television company that's proud to serve both the south and southeast of England. To begin with, we bring in the new with, for the first time, our symbol, which will soon become very familiar. On December the 28th, 1980, Lady Plowden, the outgoing chairman of the Independent Broadcasting Authority, announced a major change of direction for television in the south of England. An eight-year license to broadcast was granted to TVS, a new company to replace Southern Television, who had been responsible for commercial television in the south of England since 1957. So, here we are, a brand new company, and we had just one year and three days to recruit staff, to buy and build studios and equipment, ready to start broadcasting today. Chris Pollard there in our Southampton newsroom. I emph emphasize Southampton because we have two. The other is in Kent. That's because TVS has been awarded one of the IBA's new dual regions. Let me explain. There are two geographical areas of the country, but serviced by one ITV company. In our case, the southeast of England and the south. Each has its own studio center capable of beaming programs to its own area, or as with this program, to the whole of the region, the southeast and the South. My role with TVS is to present the nightly news magazine Coast to Coast from our studios here in Southampton. In the Southeast, I think you may just possibly have a rather more attractive deal. Thank you, Khalid, and a happy new year from all of us here in Dover. In the Southeast, we're feeling a bit like pioneers setting out to conquer new frontiers. Our home for the next few months is Dover, where everyone's been working round the clock to install new equipment and to have everything ready for today. By the end of this year, TVS will have ready a £16 million studio complex at Vinters Park in Maidstone. When it's complete, it will not only be the home of Coast to Coast, but also provide the latest facilities for light entertainment and drama production. And it'll make the Southeast the home of one of the world's most sophisticated television studios. Television, of course, has its roots in the cinema, and there's a certain poetic justice in turning Gillingham's old Plaza Cinema into a television theatre. It's been converted over the last few months to serve the Medway towns, and will be the home of our afternoon programme, Not For Women Only. Our children's programme on Saturday mornings will also come from Gillingham. It's not just a question of new buildings. The Independent Broadcasting Authority have extended the area covered by the new dual region. From today, we welcome new viewers in Essex and the Medway area who get their pictures from the transmitter on Bluebell Hill. And on Monday, the transmitter at Pembury will be switched over to TVS, bringing our programmes into the homes of another 75,000 people in the Tunbridge Wells area. We look forward to having them with us. And to make sure we give them the service they deserve, TVS has set up a network of more than 40 correspondents in the southeast to supplement our reporting teams at Maidstone, Brighton and here in Dover. Now back to Khalid. That's all there is on this first ever programme on TVS. Plenty more on offer throughout the day, of course. And the Coast to Coast team will be back at 5.15. I'll be here in the south and in the southeast. Vivian Mackerson will be presenting Coast to Coast from Dover. So until then, goodbye and have a wonderful night.